No Jamie Roberts. Uh, is that good or bad from your personal point of view? Are you happy or disappointed? Um, a bit of both. I wouldn't mind coming up against him. Uh, but um, David Hewitt should be a very good player as well. So I think he'll, he'll uh, fill, in, fill in for Jamie quite well. Can you explain the difference in form for the for the Scarlets in in the Heineken and, and the Rabo? You know, in position terms, it's like that. Yeah, I think you know we've been a bit disappointed in the games in Heineken. We haven't started well in the last two games, and uh, that's something that we've been focus on over the next couple of weeks. I think is to make sure that we that we get off off the mark. Um, we go. We've got a few big games coming up over this period and um, we spoke as team yesterday of what we got to get out to them and uh, we're going to try our best to, to get our goals. Two big games in five days, so no Christmas turkey presumably. What's, what's the approach to the next sort of, yeah, eight days for you? Um, well, I'm sure there'll be a little bit of Christmas turkey. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a short turnaround, but... Um, we got a bit of time off after the Ospreys game, um, so we'll be able to, you know, go all out over the l over the next week and week and a half, and be able to have our rest period then after the Ospreys. Well, turkey and pasta is it for Christmas lunch? Yeah, having <laughs> Christmas lunch for four days. So. <laughs> how do you see that the Blues have been struggling? Yeah, you've just your struggles in Europe. The Blues have been struggling across the board. How how do you see them and, and the clash? Uh, obviously, it's going to be a massive game. We at the start of the season we highlight the the derbies, and those are the games obviously that we got to make sure we try and win. And um, Blues is going to be a massive game in the Arms Park on Friday. And um, yeah, they they struggled the same as us really for the last two games. Maybe been a bit unlucky uh, as well, and I'm sure they'll be. They'll be trying to put things right, what where they've gone wrong in the Heineken, and, and I'm sure it'll be a very good game. And maybe the Arms Park is a tougher place to go than the Cardiff City Stadium, but for you personally, you, you've probably got some pretty happy memories from there, don't you, from your Wales under 20? Yeah, uh, played a few games there for 20s. That was our home ground, and um, yeah, I've got a few good memories there. Uh, really looking forward, actually. I uh, really enjoy playing there, and I think. Um, a bit like Exeter, it's a bit of like an old school um, pitch, and you know the crowd really close, and I really enjoy playing in atmospheres like that, and it does make you uh, want to play better. You scored some good tries down there, didn't you? I scored one or two, yeah. It's went in touch for one, didn't it? Was that one, yeah? <laughs> no, I wasn't in touch. I remember that. <laughs> you know, the two the like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Ospreys, it is, it is going to be a quick turnaround, but for that game, not going to matter particularly, is it? You've just got to be up for it as though you'd had a four night off. Yeah, well, if you can't get up for a Scarlet Osprey's derby, then you you know, you know, shouldn't be in in rugby because as a Scarlet, it's, it's, um, it's what you look at in the fixtures first uh, when you play in them. And, um, yeah, you know, anything can happen in derbies, and uh, we got to make sure that we. Um, Concentrate on what we got this this Friday first now, and hopefully we'll be able to to carry on momentum from what we had in the second half. I think um, against Exeter into this weekend. How much do you owe them what, after what happened out here? The the Ospreys. Yeah, um, uh, start of the season they were struggling when they and we slightly underestimated them a little bit, and they they uh, thought they played. With Quite well, and uh, we gotta make sure that we uh, that we get on back from them. Yeah. Did you see signs on Saturday, Scott? That perhaps <coughs> behind the scrum, especially that you've started to click. You found the form that you were showing back in September. Obviously, when you came back to the level of the twenty or level of the trade. Um, yeah, um, I thought after we had a bit of a wake up call the first twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I thought we played very well and. I thought the turning point was going to be when we held them, held them out yeah. for 15 phases on the try line. I thought, you know, yeah. that's when it's the game we we mm. going to get down there now, and hopefully yeah. we'll be able to win the game. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. And yeah, um, 
yeah, I think you know, it's all we need is a couple of games as a team. Yeah. Um, I haven't played for, you know, been on the bench yeah. over the last couple of weeks and stuff, and um, it's just trying to get that form back really. And I think everyone's in the same yeah. same boat. I mean, Simon didn't want to use that as an excuse earlier, but the fact that a lot of the boys were involved with Wales, and then almost you went straight from that Australia game straight into a massive Heineken Cup game. I suppose it's bound to have an effect, isn't it, in terms of continuity in the squad? Um, yeah, a little bit. Um, it's quite a short. You know, you yeah. come back into the team. You only got a couple of training sessions yeah. to um, get back into everything, but you know. Professional rugby player, you got to, yeah. you know, you got to be able to um, switch on to the the scarlets, mm. scarlets environment, and um, yeah, I think that, that was important. And is it tough in terms of you know you get a four test autumn series, two Heineken Cup games, and then you're straight into two derby games in four or five days, and then you could go to other stuff in the near year. I mean, it, there's no let up at the moment, is it? No, uh, yeah, there's obviously massive games and. Yeah. Um, takes a bit of toll on some injuries yeah. and stuff and um, yeah, yeah it's just you just got to manage that really and yeah. you know I'm sure if those boys got bumps and boozy they just got to manage yeah. them in the week and make sure that they get enough rest yeah. uh, after the games and stuff yeah. Jamie's had some late <coughs> January though it's always a good, example, good chance for you to put, put a marker down in, in big games like this Ospreys Ulster you know they're big games and Individually as well, as a chance to put mark it down for maybe Six Nations. Um, yeah, I'm always trying to uh, um, try my best every every opportunity I get. So um, I'm sure Jamie will be fit uh, before he probably um, was supposed to, and he, he worked hard in his in his uh, rehab and stuff. So I'm sure he'll be really wanting to get back on the field as well and. Um, yeah, so all I can do really is take my opportunity over the next couple of weeks and uh, make sure that I can keep the jersey here and um, everything else will fall into place. Just uh, coming towards the end of the year, just can you just focus on your last 12 months? I mean, what's it been like for you? You've been involved in some sort of you know, <coughs> magical moments in terms of what's it been like since the start of the year for you? Uh, definitely been met really highs and really lows as well. Um, obviously, with the Six Nations and stuff. and bit unlucky in the World Cup um, and then the autumn was a bit of a downer then all the boys were a bit disappointed and in the results and stuff and uh, yeah it's been a bit of a roller coaster um, but definitely been uh, the highlight of my career the last uh, the last 12 months.